Heading to Romeo, 19 and clear takeoff. 19 and clear takeoff, Sandy Romeo. Once we get up there, how it looks. Um, 
I'm doing this uh, using a new tool, which I haven't used before that much. I've worked. Abilin 2 1, correction, Abilin 5 1 3, Victor. Left heading 2 7. In the uh, battle with ice, I've used. Um, uh, kind of a finished product, but I'm not sure how reliable it is. One is what you get from rocket route, right, one four ton right heading, which you know, one is two, an icing one, diagram, two, zero, maybe and the other is a uh, a display uh, from one of the weather services that I get through a website, this uh, Euro Weather website. Um, but I've started uh, looking instead at uh, Victor, left these things, report established. which uh, are um, skew T's, um, which show you a forecast of where the dew point and the temperature will be at different altitudes. They use pressure levels. So 850 is 5,000 feet. 7,000 is 10,000 feet. 600 is about 140. 500 is 180. So this is, uh, this is for a big inhale at 12 UTC when we arrive. And you can see the difference between a temperature and a dew point is still a good 5 degrees, which means probably no uh, clouds forming. So clear skies. If we look instead at Saba right now, you can see up around oh, somewhere between 140 and 180, the uh, they, uh, they what are they called? They they uh, touch. Uh, converge. Uh, they converge. Fly according to flight plan, or are you interested in direct? Uh, I can fly more direct, uh, C and Roma. Thanks. Yeah, I will look into it. Call back shortly. Thank you. Abilene five one three Victor, step aside. Abilene five one three Victor, contact tower one one eight decimal six. Bye bye. One one eight decimal six. Five one three Victor. Bye. -bye. Made a flight one four descent two thousand feet. Clear straight in NDB DME approach one niner. 2,000 feet, clear uh, straight in at the BDME approach 100, maybe flag 14. Uh, turn the uh, oxygen on. And maybe flag 14 for information. The medium aircraft is touching down approximately now. Turn it behind a little off, so that I'm going to backtrack from Bonslut. Okay, back. Yes, huh? So we should see clouds somewhere around. Well, let's see. Yeah, yeah Romeo, proceed direct to Ska. Direct to Ska, thank you, Sir Andrew Romeo. And Mary Flight 14, report established. We are established, Mary Flight 14. Native flight 14, contact 7 tower 119 050. Hello. 119 050. Native flight 14. So that was that saved us a lot of time. The flight plan route was out there. Out there. and then back in, so this is good, this is very good. Ah, now, 120 is in the soup. Yeah. Ah, uh, Yusuf Boris here, come back India Romeo, request stop climb 120. Sierra India Romeo, that's copy, stop climb, flat level 120. Stop climb 120, Sierra India Romeo. I don't think there's any point in going further up, although the sun's right there. See, that's because according to this, this should still be under the clouds. And we've just got some light mist, so it might be heavier above us. We'll have to keep, we'll have to see how this looks. It's minus 10 degrees here. So.
so now we back off the cruise power 74% which gives us six and a half gallons a side for fuel flow that's my planned fuel flow always in this machine yeah we're under the clouds so I can see the ground this is not bad I think we'll stay here We got a 43 knot headwind, guys. 43 knot headwind. That's the problem with altitude. And there's no difference if you're up at uh, higher or lower, it seems, from the forecast at least. Let's look at our weather radar. And I'll put the tilt up three degrees. That's good to see if anything's happening above us. It is convective uh, weather, according to the forecast. So uh, we should keep an eye out. You want to look up around, uh, as far as I can understand from reading about this, you want to look up around uh, 220, 240. That's often where the, uh, if there's anything really convective, it'll show up there. seems to be off to the north a little bit, but nothing to worry about, really. And the fronts are moving uh, southwest, uh, according to the forecast, and according to the SIGWICs from the Met. Uh, later on this afternoon, there's six hour, and the one from 12, 12 UTC when we arrived had three different fronts. Um, I think they were all cold fronts. Um, so we'll have to keep an eye on this. Let's do something else. Though. Let's look at our at our weather report. Let's see if we can get a weather report here. Uh, we've presented a data request. We want destination and from our, our flight flight plan route the next 300 nautical miles. Tranquilima Yankee Delta, Göteborg for information. Sotenas has opened. Sierra Echo Mike, India Romeo, contact Copenhagen 124.550. Happy Easter. 124.550, glad post today. Head on, Sierra Echo Mike. Copenhagen, I think you said. Let's now we just play this again. Garmin, I love you. Sierra Echo Mike, India Romeo, contact Copenhagen 124, yeah. decimal 550. Happy Easter. Copenhagen, Sierra Echo Mike, India Romeo, at flight level 120, uh, inbound Tuska. Sierra India Romeo, Copenhagen, hello, you are identified. So we got a request. A weather request, did we? Uh, Uh, let's put our IRO satellite on. Looks, looks like it clears up a little bit later on. Uh, Precip is on. We have no precip. So that's good. Our wings are looking clear. I think we're at the right level. So, preliminary response, I like... I like the, uh, the T-skew. Because this is a sort of a heads up that we'll have to climb further than we can to get above the, the cloud tops. We can only go to 180 service ceiling on this machine, and uh, they appear to be quite a bit above that. That T skew that I have goes up to 400 pressure level, which is, uh, what is it, uh, 200 or 220, something like that. Maybe even 240. But I'm sort of in the clear. I mean, it's it's cloudy above us, but I can, there's, I have visibility straight ahead. 
good visibility actually. It's like maybe, oh, it's at least 15 miles, maybe 20, down to the ground. Open again, right at 9058, good morning, but in 370. Line 9058, opening. Good morning, I did find So the weather report tells us no precipitation, no strikes, uh, and the IR satellite looks like what it should look like. So that's good. No, no strikes, no precipitation means we don't have to be as careful with the radar. We don't have to look as hard. We shouldn't expect that much. So this is, uh, we're now about 50 nautical miles from Amsterdam. That Amsterdam is one of the locations I'd taken the T-skew chart for. That's produced by uh, NOAA in the US. Uh, and that chart would lead you to believe that it should be relatively clear up to something like uh, one, Four zero one five zero, and then and then clouds forming definitely at one eight zero. And if you look the way the sky looks, that's just about exactly what we got. So it was a very useful forecast. I'm at one two zero now, and we're below the ceilings. They do start to form some scattered at uh, just above me, probably one three zero one four zero something like that. And then you can see farther ahead. And off to the right, if I go off to the right. There's some more serious clouds further up. Could well be a 1601, 180, somewhere in there. Okay, I want to make to descend flight about 100, speed to 70 or less. Descend flight of So as a way to... Um, develop a strategy for altitude that you want to use. Mike Romeo, contact Amsterdam approach, 119 bye-bye. 119 after speed to contact approach. Level 1 to 1, climb level 1 Level 1, 3, 0, Sergeant, 1. Approach, Sierra Echo, Mike India, Romeo, flight level 1, 2, 0, uh, inbound, rest zone. Sierra India, Romeo, Roger, continue is cleared. Proceed is cleared, Sierra India, Romeo. So as a tool for... Hello, 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 hello. As a tool for developing a strategy as to what altitude you want to fly at, it's uh, quite useful. Uh, and also, also uh, uh, for your destination, getting an idea for uh, how you want to descend and uh, what kind of weather you might be looking at when you get there. Um, our, the chart for our destination today, Biggin Hill, looked clear, like clear skies. So. Uh, I'm not anticipating that much weather or that much need to plan my descent very carefully. Otherwise, if there's a lot of weather at lower altitudes, you might want to plan your descent so you get through the ice as quickly as possible. But uh, it doesn't look like we'll need to do that today. So I'm, uh, I was cleared on the Spear 1 Bravo uh, arrival at Biggin Hill. Once I got to the point Logan, uh, I got uh, handed off the Thames radar. I checked in there with uh, the Biggin Hill Atis, and um, he cleared me down to 6,000 feet uh, and uh, directed me straight to Spear, direct Spear, and then heading 245 after that. Uh, so I had put in the spear arrival in the system and was ready to fly that. Uh, 40 kilo, turn right, heading 0905. And he gave me a more direct route. And uh, outside it's uh, pretty, a little bit misty from this altitude, but uh, otherwise kind of clear, just like they said it would be on the... QT. 
Here's what it looks like outside. Nice day. Swiss 40 kilo, turn right heading 125 degrees. Heading 125, Swiss 40 kilo. So we can do our initial descent checklist, uh, which I've mostly done. Parking brake is off, sun visors are not up yet, and, uh, because that's so you can see. But uh, I'll wait a little bit with that. Uh, fuel transfer is done. Fuel selectors are on. Fuel amount is good. Seatbelts are on. I've got the comm. Let's see, I'm on Thames radar. So the next thing I'm going to get is probably big in approach, 129. Uh, four. 1294. And then big in towers, 1348. So that's our comms. Uh, our approach briefing uh, is done, actually. Um, this is the Biggin Hill. Uh, they're using 2-1. There's nothing in the NOTAM, so the ILS is uh, working. Um, it's a direct entry. Uh, that is to say, direct uh, um, approach. I'm going to get vectors. That's what they usually do here after they lead me in. I'm already off the standard, the, uh, standard arrival. So it'll be vectors. I've got the uh, I India Bravo Golf Hotel ILS DME plugged in 10935 right here. It's also on the DME showing here. I've also got the Big N VOR 1151 on plugged in on number two, and that's showing on the double arrow. That's used in the event of a missed approach. Um, the uh, Minimum sector altitude is 2300. The uh, initial altitude is 1800. Uh, that's where you pick up the glide slope. And that should be at four, distance four. Uh, you can pick it up, I guess, also out at distance 6.6, .6, but there's no altitude given for that. Uh, my dis my uh, altitude cross references are distances to the uh, DME, so I'll be checking those on the way in. Make sure the glide slope is working correctly. The decision altitude for an alpha rated airplane uh, with a sufficient gradient, climb gradient of 5%, which we easily have, is 726. I put 730. I plug that in. Uh, the RVR is... Uh, 750, but not an issue today. Missed approach is climb straight ahead to maximum 2,000 feet, not higher than 2,000 feet. At distance two, uh, to the uh, same deal, DME. Then you turn right to the Biggin VOR, and that's on the double arrow. And you want to um, stay within uh, four distance four of it. Then you continue to climb as necessary to 2,000 if you haven't reached 2,000 yet. Then you leave the VOR on radial 049 to tunnel, which is the end of the outbound leg on the holding, the Alcan holding. So that's the missed approach, quite a procedure. I wonder if they actually make you do that. Okay, now I'm going to put these up. Oh, that one doesn't sit correctly. And you, maybe, it's very misty, but maybe you can see the, uh, the mouth of the Thames, which we're flying over. Always a friendly sight when you're getting toward London. Oh, Chef, 0038, thank you. So the Back approach... CNA and descent to altitude 6,000... Briefing is done. Begin Q&H 102. We've got our altimeter set. 
Yeah, and we have our landing data. So the next thing we're waiting for is the approach clearance. And then we turn our fuel pumps on, test our gear warning, and set the approach, uh, missed approach altitude. Sierra India Romeo, descend to altitude 5,000 feet. Descend 5,000 feet, Sierra India Romeo. We're going to punch heading on the autopilot. And then it'll go into our heading, which is already plugged in 245 on the heading bug. 1018, uh, Spear, so now we go on heading. Choice 47, Fox Trot, turn right heading 085. So now we can change this CDI to, which you can't see, <laughs> we can change this to the uh, ILS. wonder if we can hear it. Andy 
you down, turn right heading 145 degrees. Then 145, Papa Nelda. Allen 2 2 Romeo, descent to altitude 3000 feet, City Kun H1018, latest weather is Yankee. Down to 3000 feet, 1018, with the Yankee, 2 2 Romeo. Sierra India Romeo, turn right, heading 265 degrees. Right, 265 degrees, Sierra India Romeo. Sierra India Romeo, descend to altitude 1800 feet, range 10 miles. Descend 1800 feet, Sierra India Romeo. the initial altitude. You brought us all the way down to 1800. So we're going to intercept that four miles out, it looks like. Hit Allen, 2 Romeo, turn right heading 185. Right heading Approach already. Tidal and Tucci Romeo, turn right, heading 240 degrees, clear to ILS approach. 240, clear to ILS, uh, Tucci Romeo. Sierra India Romeo, turn left, heading 255, clear to ILS approach, runway 21. Left 255, clear to ILS approach, 21, Sierra India Romeo. Polish Air Force 038, report your airspeed. 1-0, Polish Air Force 038. Roger. Hello, North South, 360, Fadi, Station at fly level 360, you've got the wrong frequency. Go back, go back to your previous. Cleared for approach. Polish Air Force 038, now we're at 1-800. Set altitude to 2,000. Cabin's radar, Sierra Indy Romeo established on the local line, sir, 2-1. Sierra Indy Romeo, thank you. Nothing seemed to affect your approach. Radar service terminates. Contact Biggin Hill, 129.4, bye. 129.4, uh, Sierra Indy Romeo, thanks a lot, bye-bye. Biggin approach, Sierra Echo Mike Indy Romeo established on the local line, for 2-1. Mike and you, Romeo, begin approach. Good afternoon. Continue descent with the ILS runway 21, the QNH 1019. Are you on number one? Continue approach with, local, uh, with the uh, glide slope uh, QNH 1019. Sierra India Romeo. Sierra India Romeo is clear to land 21, surface wind 25010. Clear to land 21, Sierra India Romeo. Here comes the glide slope. And this is, we're close. We're within four miles, so I'll put the gear down right now. And our speed will go down below 133 almost immediately. So we'll put the flaps out, approach flaps. we got the lights on, we the fuel pumps on. And we're stabilized. And we're cleared to land. Take the autopilot off. Fly it in. I know how this is done.
Three green, thumbs on, flaps on approach, lights on. And we can put the final flaps on. Get our speed down a little bit. Minimums. Minimums. And it's a beautiful day. Right on the glide slope. Eighty-six knots over the threshold. We're gonna approach you good afternoon on three six six below transit. Osprey 666, Pinsker 1 on board, out of Rochester on route to Sarah. Currently about 2 miles northeast of the route of Mars 2000, speak 1018. And looking for zone transit by the MH. Osprey 66, it's a basic service, begin QNH 1019. At this time, no known traffic to the east of the field. Call with 5 miles transfer onward clearance through the begin hill overhead. And the conspicuity is Squawk 7047, if not on own specific squawk. 7047, uh, report with 5 to 1, that's basically it. Good morning, Polisher from 038, uh, establish high left runway to 1. Sierra India, Mike, expedite to the end of the runway, then right by a hotel to park with the marshal on the main apron. To the end, right, and then look for the marshal. See you on your own, thanks. Polisher, Sierra 38, good morning, continue descent with the ILS runway to 1, the QNH 1019, you are number 1 with 1 to vacate, continue approach. Continue approach, Polish Air Force 03. Sierra India Romeo, vacated runway. Sierra India Romeo, thank you. Polish 038, clear to land, 21, surface wind 28059.